Hey friends! My name is Desiree, aka Mama Friendly, and I do all sorts of videos on my channel, from cooking videos to planner videos, vlogs, hauls, homeschool videos with a Disney twist, a little bit of everything. So if any of that sounds like fun to you, I hope that you'll subscribe and join me on my YouTube adventure. Today's video is the monthly grocery haul collab. It's hosted by Tiffany of Small Town 6, and I have a haul, or two hauls I guess, from two different stores today. One is my regular weekly sort of grocery haul from Publix, and the other is sort of a fun every once in a while type treat haul from Whole Foods. I shop at Whole Foods, or I used to shop at Whole Foods a lot, uh, but that's before Amazon implemented this crazy high surcharge to get delivery from there. So because it's gotten more expensive to have Whole Foods deliveries delivered, uh, they've become far less frequent around here. So what I've been doing is I basically put things in my cart whenever it occurs to me, obviously things that I either can't find anywhere else or for whatever reason are a lot cheaper at Whole Foods, weird to even say that out loud, but it happens. And once I get to a certain threshold, I'll say to myself, okay, the time has come. Let's go ahead and buy all of these things and treat myself. The day has finally come, friends. So we're gonna start out with our Whole Foods haul. We're gonna finish with our weekly Publix haul. And I'm gonna show you the totals for either one and then both throughout the video. Now before we jump in, let me remind you that this is a collab and that means that there is a playlist. So once you've finished watching my video, you could click the link in the description box below and see what all of my friends did for their grocery hauls this month. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. So our grocery hauls this month begin with our Whole Foods stock up. I got this bag of dill pickle crinkle cut chips because they're the best brand. They're just so good. I also got a couple of these bags of Chomps meat sticks. I got a jalapeno and a regular. These are usually really expensive and they weren't that cheap this time, but they're a good snack to have on hand. I got some of my turmeric supplements that I'd run out of, a bag of corn grits just because I like them for a quick easy breakfast. This chaka tea I'd never had before, but it ended up being really, really delicious. And I only tried that because it was on sale. I got a jar of my favorite dairy-free Nutella substitute and my favorite gluten-free brownies. Whole Foods makes the best brownie mix. Got a bag of cornbread mix, another one of the teas. The guava one I haven't tried yet, but the pineapple mint, amazing. Ginger juice. I got this because I know it's healthy. It's good to add for, to smoothies. It's a good probiotic. All sorts of benefits to ginger juice, ginger as a supplement. I really don't love the taste of ginger, so I don't know what I was thinking, but it exists in my home now, so hopefully I'll get around to trying it. I got some of my favorite cream cheese. This is the chive cream cheese from Kite Hill, and I got some butter as well. It's the best butter substitute, period. These plant-based baby bells taste, I think, probably better than the real thing. They're super expensive and really hard to find, so I had to take advantage. And I got a bag of my favorite gluten-free chicken tenders as well. Kiddo might help me with these. I got some frozen salmon. Salmon's become a big part of my diet these days, what with my cycle sinking, so I figured having some frozen on hand is not a bad idea. I got this Bent Go salad container. I'd been eyeing it for a while and it's usually around 30 bucks, but it was half off this week. And I stocked up on soap probably for the rest of the year. I got eight bars of soap. They were like $2.50 each, but I really like the scents. I like the brand. It's a very natural kind of brand. And I got enough variety of soap here that we shouldn't get bored for the next few months. So that is everything that I got at Whole Foods. And here is my total for my stock up. All right, pallies. So you've seen the, I guess, extras stock up from Whole Foods, but now it's time for the actual groceries of the week. And luckily my son has loads of proteins and chips because we had a sale recently at the store, the local store. And so I was able to stock up for at least the next couple of weeks. So that's very good news. For the rest of us, <laughs> I've got here a couple of tomatoes. This one feels particularly ripe. I'm gonna use these in a recipe. 
We've also got ooh, a couple of jalapeno peppers. They're in there, trust me. I'm not gonna take them out because I don't wanna touch them right now and then accidentally touch my face. We've got a very large red onion. If you at this point have any ideas about what I'm making, uh, drop a comment down below and let me know what your guesses are. We've got some limes. Now in here, I have a rotisserie chicken, which is one of my favorite things to buy because I don't have to cook it and it's something that we all can eat but this I'm actually gonna use for a recipe. So stay tuned for that, that'll be coming soon-ish. And in case it's already up, I'll post it in the corner. <laughs> we have a little thingy of Clamato. I am not a fan of this, but I do need it for a recipe. So hopefully I can figure out what to do with the rest of the bottle. We have some Poppy probiotic soda, prebiotic soda, excuse me. This is the classic cola flavor. I've been like buying and reviewing these as I find them because I just love a fun little drink. And the cola flavor is pretty good. It doesn't quite taste like cola. Like if you're expecting cola, you're gonna be disappointed. But if you just enjoy it for what it is, it's very tasty. It almost has a root beer type flavor to it. I detest root beer, but somehow this is really good. And it was on sale for a dollar off this week, so I just got the one. And speaking of soda, I got regular Cokes for my husband. And speaking of my husband, I also got him a big old jug of Arizona green tea because it's his latest fixation, and so why not? This whole jug is under four dollars. I'm kind of impressed. Arizona's always been very well priced though. I got myself some gluten-free sandwich bread. This one's the best, by the way, the Hawaiian Sweet from Canyon Bakehouse. The flavor's amazing. The texture's really, really good. I haven't tasted anything from Canyon Bakehouse yet that has disappointed me. We went to the beach recently, and I don't know about y'all, but when we were growing up, the beach to us, to me and my siblings, tasted like ham cheese and mayonnaise sandwiches. Doritos, but it had to be the red Doritos specifically, and a can of Coke that was almost to the point of frozen. We went to the beach a lot as kids, and we would go with like our uncles and our cousins, and it was always a big family affair, and everybody always brought these sandwiches and Doritos and Cokes. So this just feels very nostalgic to us. We went to the beach recently and we didn't have any of these things. So I felt like I needed to give myself a chance at some nostalgia here. As such, I can't eat regular <laughs> red Doritos because of the dairy, but Siete makes a dairy-free nacho chip and they are very, very close in taste and texture. They're amazing. I love making nachos with these actually. I got a couple bottles of my favorite lemon juice and I'm feeling hashtag blessed because the last like three weeks that I've tried to buy these, they keep telling me they don't exist and they're not available in the store, but here they are. So I'm gonna stick one in the freezer and put another one in the fridge to use soon. And the last thing I got, just a quick little haul, is some more coffee. I recently vlogged that I discovered that decaffeinated coffee most of the ones in the U.S. use chemical solvents in order to decaffeinate. So you're here thinking you're doing something good for your health by removing the caffeine, but actually you're just adding in extra chemicals that you otherwise wouldn't have ingested. So there's this website called checkyourdecaf.org. It's got a list of coffee brands and then every brand has a drop down menu showing all of their products so that you can select the one you actually use and see whether they use solvents or if they just use a Swiss water method. This brand, which I don't have a Tim Hortons near me, I'd never had Tim Hortons until recently, but this particular coffee does not use solvents. So this is what I've been buying lately. And again, if this is the first you're hearing of this, that's checkyourdecaf.org. I highly suggest you check it out because it blew my mind. So that's everything for my little haul. Um, I'm gonna get a few recipes out of this though. This is definitely gonna feed us for the week with everything else that I've already got in the fridge, freezer, and pantry. So this is the order total for Publix, which is where this was from. And this is going to be the absolute grand total from both Publix and Whole Foods. All right, friends, there you have it. Uh, it felt a little pricey to me, but I feel like that's just kind of how it is these days when you buy food anywhere. 
I'm curious if there's any sort of specific store in your area that you have kind of as like a treat store where you don't go there all the time, but when you do, you go all out. Or even if there's just a particular item that you don't get all the time, but when it goes on sale or something, you're like, oh, that's it. It has to end up in my cart. Let me know all about it in the comments. And as always, I want to thank you so much for being here and watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope you'll please give it a big thumbs up. I'd also love it if you would subscribe and click that notification bell because I post at least three times a week and I wouldn't want you to miss a minute. Thanks so much again for watching. Bye.